God builds the ark. Look at Genesis chapter 6, verse 13. And God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood, make rooms in the ark, and cover it inside and outside with pitch. And this is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. You shall make a window for the ark, and you shall finish it to a cubit from above, and set the door of the ark in its side. You shall make it with lower, second, and third decks. Let me convert those cubits for you. I promised to preach out of home this morning, but I lied. I didn't. Uh, the, the ark is going to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. It's built in such a way that it's virtually impossible to capsize in, in large ways. The total capacity of the ark was 1.4 million cubic feet. Look at this next slide. Has a capacity of about 522 of our modern day uh, livestock cars that you'd see on the train. It can hold about 522 of these. Look at the next slide. One of those can carry about 240 sheep in one of those. So the ark containing 520 could hold up to 522 livestock cars. You could get about 240 sheep in one livestock car. And I want to remind you, most animals in the world are smaller than sheep. I don't know if you realize that. We always think of the biggins. Most animals are smaller than sheep. The vast majority of animals on earth are smaller than sheep. This means uh, that the ark potentially could carry, look at this next slide, 125,280 sheep could absolutely fit the ark with no problem. You can get 125,000 sheep in the ark. Again, most animals are smaller than sheep. Uh, today, uh, most scientists will tell you uh, that there's about roughly 18,000 species of animals. Eight, only 18,000. Uh, I don't mean you know, kind of species. I'm not talking about golden retriever, English setter, golden and rockwater. I mean, eight species. You understand what I'm saying? 18,000 different species. That includes mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. 18,000. Now, if you took that number, 18,000 species alive today, and you just randomly doubled that number to account for all the ones that have gone extinct that maybe we didn't even know about, and, and allowed for just two, even though know, there's going to be seven or some, but just two, that means that the ark was carrying around 72,000 to 75,000 animals uh, on the ark. Fuzzy math, but in the ballpark. The ark could hold 125,280 sheep. Not only was there enough room for exactly what God said he did, my friend, there was elbow room. There was elbow room. The point is, there's plenty of room on the ark to hold a pair of every kind, uh, especially if they were young, too. That's another thing. You know, it's like, you know, are you, if you're going to start a new world, are you going to carry the old elephant or the young elephant? Which one are you going to carry? All the senior citizens like the old. The old. We carry the old. But honestly, if you're going to start a, a new world, are you carrying the fully mature animals or possibly, and God can do anything. And so it's probable uh, that most of them were young, smaller size to begin with. And it's also, and some uh, creation scientists believe that they were dinosaurs on the ark. Some people believe that. And that the ecosystem was so drastically different after the flood. We'll talk about that in a moment. The ecosystem completely different. And uh, was so different that that's why uh, many of the dinosaurs went extinct. But However, on this ark, there was plenty of room for whatever God wanted to do. There was literally elbow room on the ark. And one of the biggest crimes that we do, and we're like an eye with it, and one of the worst things we do is we go in the nursery and we paint a picture of the ark, and you got a giraffe head sticking out over here. You know, his hand can't even fit in the ark, and, the, and that elephant's got his head out the other side, and, and all these animals crammed in without any room. Well, that's just not what it was like at all. Remember, over 125,000 sheep could fit comfortably on the 